Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and for my new subscribers I'm glad you're joining us. My name is Yvonne. In today's video uh, I want to make uh, a journal card and this will be uh, a double pocket and the uh, one pocket will have a, a window. So I hope you join me in creating this or just have fun watching me create this and maybe you're inspired to make it make one on your own at a later date. I'll start with this one and put this to the side. I always prepare um, my items that I want to use in advance because otherwise I'll keep doubting which image to use and that will take way too much time. Uh, this library card is a is a printable, and I really already <laughs> backed it with a, a beautiful script, and I uh, printed it on coffee dyed paper. It gives a completely different uh, effect. This will be the back side. I like the library card for its design, but you can journal on it, and that's why I chose this. But this will be my front side. Uh, this is a, uh, a tea bag, but it's already a little bit, yeah, like tea stain. Uh, I have one that is tea stained or coffee stain, but I can't remember. It's much darker, but I didn't like the darker color on this uh, coffee dyed paper. I like this more because it stands out. And I just, it was a new tea bag for a loose tea. And I just uh, uh, wet it with water, crinkled it up, and let it uh, dry on the heating. And then you also have a nice effect, and you didn't have to do anything to it. And I want to make a pocket on here from this. So I have to make it a little more like a square and I'm thinking uh, of sewing it on let's see these little pieces we can use another time I'd like to see something of the script. So I think I'll tear it a bit more. I just opened one side because otherwise it would be too uh, too small. I think I'll use it like this. And I like that it's it stays a little crinkled, but I have to remember that my card, this card. I, I will also back this with uh, paper. Yeah, you can write on this, but I don't like the, the, the white of the paper I print on. But this will go in this pocket, so that has to fit. Maybe made it a little small, the pocket, but I can always trim the picture. I think I'll glue it on, maybe. No, I don't like this. Maybe a bit like this. I want to have that peeking out the name.
Yeah, I just put a bit of glue and then it will be easier to stitch it on. And I wanted to see a bit of the paper here. Well, it's not so much, but just a bit. Make it a bit smaller. Always difficult to get it a bit even, but we don't want it too straight, or at least I don't. Let's see. Ah, it still fits. I don't have to glue the, the bottom side because I want to stitch this. My sewing machine is right beside me. I always like the effect of sewing. It's never necessary, but if you have a sewing machine and you like to sew, it's just an, an extra dimension and uh, yeah, just some extra texture. Yeah, I'll snip these. For now, I also like it when when the threads hang loose. But for now, you will see the stitching. I could have done it before and then afterwards uh, glued this on, but I don't mind. You, there is room enough to make some journaling and you can always put some journaling behind the card or on the card. Let's see if I can crinkle this a bit. Always like it when it stands up or just a bit. Yep, these bits we can use later. And I thought this beautiful image, it, it may be, uh, they're not, I don't think they're, I'm not. <laughs> so very good at uh, plant names or something. I don't think uh, they're autumn uh, uh, flowers, but I liked the orange and in the journal I'm making there's more orange and a little lilac. So that's why I chose this image because it's, uh, it coordinates with the rest. And because I want journaling space on the back, I thought it would be nice. Um, I really like this uh, uh, writing paper. It's original, it's new, <laughs> I mean, but it has a great color already. Um, and I thought I would like it. And just for a pop of color or of something else. Let's see if just the blue. And I also like that because you can always write on it anyway. So I think I'll do that. I'll take the, the side without the lines. It's from a, a receipt. It's very pale blue. Sunny sky blue. <laughs> it's getting really colder in the, in the Netherlands, but we still have yeah great weather for the time. Still uh, some sunshine here because I'm pretty in the south. Not completely in the south of the Netherlands, but away. And almost every day there is a little sunshine. And the temperature would get a bit warmer 
for the time of the year. So not really autumn yet. Just in the mornings when it's a bit chilly, then you know, oh, it's autumn. <laughs> Trim the excess. It's sticking. Always give it a good rub with my bond folder so I forgot to ink this edge because that would be nicer but too late I'll ink up around it because I always like that a real blue bit toned down. I'm thinking if I want to uh, sew around it. I felt there was something loose. Another doubting moment is to stitch it or not. Or maybe here. Just a straight stitch all around. I think that would be nice also. I think I'll do that, a straight stitch around it. So bear with me or maybe later I will cut it out. These I think I'll keep loose. It's just real subtle all around. And then this would be, doesn't have to be stitched. It would be nice, but it's okay. Let's see if I can find a little word there. I have so many words and I always have to remember to to use them. Always like these and because they're on the, on the craft colored paper. And like this one. Today is the day. <laughs> I'll put some cheesecloth underneath it Ink this other bit I always put glue underneath uh, a sticker because I really want it to hold
this is a, a thicker. I have uh, different kinds of cheesecloth. I like the stretchy one, but I also want to um, want to use this up. And I tea stain these. Wrap them up a bit. I'll take um, some fabric glue for this, and I know it will adhere okay. Thank you a bit. Not too straight. A bit ruffled. Like that. And then I can snip it off here. And that small part. I always save them because sometimes you, you just need just a tiny bit of cheesecloth. To make an accent and yeah on something yeah I like that a bit more glue it seeps through the cheesecloth but I always want to make sure there's enough glue to hold It always adds just that little thing extra on a card. And that's the same with a, a tab or a little cluster or a dangle somewhere. Because this is a bit loose, it'll fit right in there. Maybe a real tiny tag or yeah, I think I'll make an eyelet here and then I can uh, decide if I'm hanging something from it or maybe uh, I'm looking for the word some wool thread or something to go in there. For the color, and I don't want it to be too big because I really have cute ones. The, the flowers, they have the flower shape, but that's too. I don't like it here because it's too big in these ones. Also, these are smaller. I don't want it that dark. No, not that those ones. Maybe a bit in the gold because of the the color here, and it can be a gold one. This one could be nice too. Let's see. Always a bit of a fiddle to get them out. This is the real gold color. Let's see. This is the more, ah, it's exactly the color. Yeah, I'll take that because it's exactly the color of, I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but. The color is uh, matching. So back goes the gold one. So 
always have to think about the hole because they are mostly bigger than I think. Yeah. Hmm. I want to try because this looks very big. And I have a different uh, tool with different holes. Oh no, this is okay. It should be because it's all from the same brand, but I always like to check. Because when I have a hole too big, then my card is gone also. And even just this is a nice uh, addition to a card already. I always push it a bit too hard because I never know exactly when to stop. It's okay. I'm trying to get rid of my perfection, so... Let's see, I have some orange uh, trim. And I want to use that trim later in the... Uh, the pockets, but maybe it's nice here. I have orange, but mostly the orange is very bright. That's not real vintage -y. I just want to try. This, maybe it will look nice. Yeah, this one I do. Yeah, it, it's pretty pink, a okay, pretty orange, but yeah, I do like it. Not too long, just a bit. Just a bit hanging up. Just hugging the corner. That one I want to use later in the pocket. So I'll leave it out. I've stored everything behind me in, uh, in a big closet. So I can take everything out. <coughs> it's all at hand. And then I want to put something here and I have to put some plastic in it because otherwise the glue will see through. I'll use some packaging because for yeah you can use this for for a window but yeah my perfectionism is not completely gone and I rather have uh, something that's not uh, a bit crinkled already. It doesn't matter, but yeah. That's just the way my mind works. So I have enough plastic to use, which I normally wouldn't use anymore, so it doesn't matter. I don't have to buy things. And then I thought a round image like this with a butterfly. And because this is already colored, I was thinking 
in black and white, but I do also like the color There's a bit red here. I think this one, this is too much orange for me. Yeah. No, that not, not either. Yeah, I'll take this. But it's very lonely here, like that, so maybe some, because there's always also the green in there. I thought maybe something in the background. Okay. A bit more uneven. This is uh, green wrapping paper. It's craft color on the one side and green on the back. Can't remember where I found it. And I crinkled it up a bit. And I want it a bit in an angle. A specimen label. That will be peeking out. Hmm. I always watch on the screen. <laughs> no, it doesn't really matter. Let's put this one there. A bit. Now I'm doubting again. Here's also a bit of the green. Hmm. Now everybody has an opinion. <laughs> I always do. I always think ahead with the creator. Yeah, I do like this. Yeah, I do like this. I'm just going to glue it. Otherwise, I keep thinking about it. Yeah, I think I'll put it like this. Now this will go a bit more on the green, and that's what I want. Yeah. I didn't really like uh, this. Here's script and their script, and that's something I didn't really like. Maybe with this one, I could have used the number, the number label. And then a bit up to the side. Oh. <laughs> There's not uh, the glue didn't really see through. There. Yeah. I'm thinking if I want to put a tab there. 
position that want lying here off to the side. Let's put this in here behind the plastic. I'm just going to peek up a bit also, crinkle it a bit. I like the tab, but I don't know if I like the craft color. But more color, and I don't know which color. Hmm. I have to think about that. I leave this for now. Let it dry. And this is the result. I'll leave the plastic in for now because um, otherwise um, it will stick to the background, maybe. Well, that's my first project for today. And we'll go over to the next one. I'll pause the video here and I'll pick up my supplies for the second one. So I'm back. Uh, I started the video again uh, just to round it up. Uh, I decided to make a different video of uh, the, uh, the pocket with the window because otherwise it will be a very long video again, and I don't want that. This is the final result. I did like the tap, but I thought about it, what uh, could be nice, and then I thought about the green wrapping paper, and it's just thin, but I really like it up there, because the green is coming back, and then I missed something here, because uh, the label is already very stuck down. I, later I thought I had to, it was uh, more beautiful if it was a bit more to the right. Now these two edges meet and it, it makes a straight line. I, and normally I don't really like that. So just to take your eye a bit away from that, I just uh, stamped with the sand pool, uh, date from the past, stamp a number, and I glued it on, tore it a bit roughly. So this is the final result. I hope you give it a try, because I really like how it turned out. A lot of journaling space, because there's also on the card and on the back here. You can all, always tuck something behind here, extra journaling space. So. That's my project for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you like this video, I would love a like and a comment. And I will see you next time. Bye!